what is the resulting complex inner orbital complex and this is how the formation of inner orbital complex takes place similarly let us have one more example in the same metal complex instead of ammonia i would like to consider fluorine ligands co f6 taken minus 3 co f6 taken minus 3 here the explanation for the formation of this metal complex and this metal complex is same once again the oxidation state of cobalt in the resulting metal complex is plus 3 again that means similar manner of representation of electrons d orbital which orbital 3d orbital with six electrons and 4s orbital is empty 4p orbital is also empty but remember in the same fourth orbit in addition to s orbital and p orbital one more orbital one more orbital is 4d orbital present 4d orbital as well as 4f orbital present but not in our discussion only up to 4d orbital here when six fluoride ions approaching approaching to the cobalt cobalt plus 3 ion there is no rearrangement of these two electrons into the inner sphere so there is no transfer of these electrons here not takes place so while they are not participates or not involved into the inner orbitals transfer of inner orbitals it remains unchanged still one d orbital in 3d series one d orbital with two electrons and remaining four d orbitals with single single electron in such cases to facilitate bond formation with six fluorines here one 4s orbital and three 4p orbitals and two 4d orbitals wants to participate in hybridization so combinedly produces how many one s orbital 3 p orbitals 2 d orbitals so 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is called as sp3 d2 hybridization okay sp3 d2 hybridization so we have to remember that why not electrons of 3d orbital never arranged inside never partic never participates in rearrangement only the reason is ammonia is a strong field ligand whereas fluoride is a weak field ligand after completion of valency bond theory followed by crystal field theory we can we will discuss about which are strong field ligands and which are weak field ligand uh, just remember in the presence of strong field ligand while the strong ligands are going to approach here the electron electron repulsion takes place between the d orbital electrons and ligands and rearrangement of electrons takes place into the inner sphere then the resulting complex are called as inner orbital complex but when weak field ligands are approaching near to the metal complex or metal ion there is no rearrangement of electrons of 3d series into their inner orbital hence there is no availability of 3d orbital vacant 3d orbitals to make coordination covalent bond with fluoride ions so during this instead of 3d series now 4d or valency orbit d orbital parts take part in the hybridization then resulting s p3 d2 okay s yes. P3 D2 hybridization. So due to SP3 D2 hybridization, it is going to form COFE taken 6 or COFE minus 3 complex with octahedral geometry. So in both condition, geometry is same. COFE F6 complex octahedral, CO NH3 complex is also NH3 taken 6 complex is also octahedral. But here 
outside orbitals that means the orbitals of same orbit part take part in the hybridization hence it is called as outer orbital complex outer orbital complex whereas the resulting this compound is called as inner orbital complex why it is inner orbital complex s orbital p orbital from fourth fourth orbit but d orbital is from third orbit hence when compared to fourth orbit third orbit present inside of the atom hence inner orbital complex so it is outer orbital complex so this is valency bond theory to explain the formation of hexadentate metal complexes with octahedral geometry only two types of metal complexes are possible inner orbital complexes and outer orbital complexes with different hybridization the possibility of hybridization generally depends upon the strength of the ligand so next one under the same by using valency bond theory by using valency bond theory let us explain tetra coordinate complexes or four coordinate complexes tetra valent or four coordinate complexes by taking an example of nickel tetra chloride in the next example i would like to consider minus 2 so remember in the previously explained concepts or structures hexa amino or hexa amine cobalt complex and hexa fluoro cobalt complex in hexa amine cobalt complex in the resulting orbitals only or all the orbitals present in this are filled with electrons that means in each orbital pair of electrons present those metal complexes in which the metal atom com consists of filled orbital completely filled orbitals so such compounds exhibit diamagnetic character so example for this is co n h3 take n6 3 plus where in the resulting cobalt all the orbitals are with paired electrons Whereas in the second explained example of COF6, COF6 minus 3, in this compound the 3 orbital, 3D series orbitals, 4 orbitals with single electrons or single unpair electron, hence this molecule will exhibit paramagnetic character. Paramagnetic character but for filled orbitals or paired orbitals it shows diamagnetic character paramagnetic and diamagnetic due to presence of paired electrons in cobalt nh3 taken 6 due to presence of single or unpaired electrons it shows paramagnetic character 